This week in gaming, we check out the most realistic battle royale game yet. It's not that realistic. We throw a spotlight on the teeny tiny gaming system. It's so cute. Steam is updating which games are allowed on their store. We hit you with the quickest. And then you get a sneak peek of Boss's latest fishing trip, which is in VR. Oh, it's awesome. All this and more are starting right now. So, you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, this game is called Totally Accurate Battlegrounds. It's free on Steam, and as you might have already figured out, the name is all about sarcasm. The physics of this game are ridiculous. Just look how you run, crouch, go prone, launch out of trucks. You can even turn your gun sideways to go gangster. All of this makes this game a ton of fun. This game is made by Landfall, the creators of Tabs, or Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So their new addition is a welcome parody to the very crowded Battle Royale format. The wide array of weapon selections and attachments take the already ridiculous into the absurd. The throwables, like C4 packed with bullets, are very creative. And there's even a variety of shields. Now let's talk gameplay. It's just like PUBG or your typical Battle Royale game. You start off in a line of trucks which bounce their way across a very large map. When you pick your starting point, you are LAUNCHED out of the truck into the air. No parachute, no problem. There is no fall damage in this game. Run around, gather weapons and survive, you know. Oh, and the play zone shrinks over time like you expect. All of this clear resemblance is a bold move for landfall, with PUBG in the middle of suing Fortnite for its minor similarities. Overall, this game is actually pretty fun and even refreshing. With so much competition within this popular genre, it's nice to have a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. Will I be playing this game on a daily basis? Nah, but I'll be definitely picking it up every now and then just to get away from the intense competition of other shooters. Calling all nostalgic gamers, it's time for our spotlight. Introducing the Pocket Star, a throwback toy that's, you guessed it, pocket size. This tiny gadget comes in at just three centimeters by five centimeters and has the ability to play your favorite games. Think Game Boy, but just really, really, really small. It's just so tiny and cute, it's just so all you have to do is insert a micro SD card to play games and view content. A few of the games that are in development for the Pocket Star are Pocket Man, Pocket Tris, yes, that's Pac Man, and Tetris, but just tiny, Ping Pong, Snake, Tic Tac Toe, and Space Shooter. There are also a few apps like a calculator, timer, countdown, and dice in development. Just in case you don't have your phone or the dice you carry around, I guess. You can even engrave your name on the side if you have a really, really short name. Like, really short. This project was fully funded on Kickstarter and is now in the pre-order phase. The Pocket Star comes in seven different colors ranging in price from $49.95 to $59.95 with an expected shipping date in June 2018. Wait, that's this month! Nice. In an open letter to users and developers, Valve executive Eric Johnson laid out their future plans on what games are going to be allowed on Steam. The current process of how games get to be on there is a tangled mess, Johnson explains. Developers have to meet shifting and obscure goals in order for Valve to accept them onto their store. But they plan to open the Valve on future games. See what I did there? Johnson says they are letting pretty much any game onto their store as long as it isn't quote, illegal or straight up trolling. The letter explains that all three communities, the developers, the buyers, and even those in Steam, aren't happy with the current system. And since video games are a form of art or expression, why should it be limited to those who can get their work to the masses? So does this mean Steam will be getting steamier? High five for pun number two. Uh, but yes, there will be a ton more controversial games on the Steam Store. But there will be several new tools for browsers to let you not see them. You know how it goes. See no evil, hear no evil, play no evil. We'll keep you posted on when this new system will go into effect. Ew, Montgomery. What? Let's talk about actual games now. Oh, well in that case, let's move on to the quickies! 
See if Thieves got a new update called The Hungering Deep. Ooh, Halo Fire Team Raven is coming to arcades. Rainbow Six Siege also got an update prepping for the new operator. Can't wait. Blizzard is looking for medieval artists because they're making a new Diablo game. Yes! yes! Fortnite now has bounce traps. Ooh, watch out. Telltale's Walking Dead final season announced an August release date. There's a new Tetris game that will be playable on PSVR. Old school, future school, it's all cool. <laughs> Crackdown has been delayed again, this time until 2019. Black Ops 4 announced pre-ordering will get you access to the closed beta. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will add a solo map on June 12th, not a single player Han Solo. You get it. Pokemon Let's Go is coming to the Switch November 16th. People can't stop talking about Fortnite coming to the Switch. Will it be there? Will it not? We'll find out soon during E3. Yes, we will. Woo. That's all the news from this week. But before we get out of here, you need to check out Alabama Boss trying to fish in another reality. It's pretty great. Check it out. Damn it. Keep dropping it right here. I ain't gonna catch nothing right inside the boat. Whoosh. Get out there. Okay, I'm gonna put my rod in the rod holder. Oh, I see a fish. Take it, you bastard. Oh, I got one. Oh, I picked it up with the wrong hand. Ah, oh, shit, bro. Now, while I wait, <laughs> this, is, this is probably the best idea we've ever had. Man, I could get so drunk at my house fishing. Wait, can you row this boat? <laughs> Time to drink beer. Uh, da, 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 da. I could seriously sit here like this for hours and hours. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, shit, that's a big one. Don't break my line. Don't break my line. Don't break my line! Oh, what are you, die? I got him. I thought he got off. Damn, don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Shit. Oh, I found the honey hole right here. Whoosh. This son of a bitch. Yep, it's only one thing left to do. Every time I get a beer, one gets on. The most majestic sound in the, the wild. It's the lower Alabama trailer park cat. Damn it, I knew I'd get one on. I'm burping up beer now. It's starting to feel like a real fishing trip. Make sure to check out all of Boss's shenanigans in the extended play we're dropping this Monday on Rated Red's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and from everyone here at Rated Red Gaming, have a great weekend. I'm Gary Brown. And I'm Paxton Elrod. <laughs> <laughs>